My son was murdered. Joseph Biegert was murdered by the Green Bay police. Say something. Ba. Huh? Ba. Ba. What's ba mean? Joseph was born on November 30th, 1984 in L.A. County, California, in a little small community hospital called Orange Grove. My most proudest moment was the day that I had him and I looked at that beautiful face and I knew he was mine. I made this. He was quiet. Uh, he could be shy. He could be very outgoing. He could be the class clown. Put your fingers down. Smile. When I think about Joseph, I think about laughing. Joseph would laugh thinking that what he was doing was the most funniest thing. And even if we didn't think it was funny, just hearing Joseph laugh, we'd end up laughing too. He struggled with depression, uh, but even through all of that, he could make anyone laugh. I made that phone call and that started what ended up being the worst night of my life. Hello, this is Brown County Public Safety. I have a son that calls saying that he just took a bottle of um, antidepressant pills and that he's killing himself. Does he have any access to weapons? No. So he just called you right before you called us? Right. Okay. We have two officers on the way there right now, okay? Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. What is the address of your emergency? Yeah, uh, pardon me. Uh, well, there's a, there's a lot of people by my by my door. There's people by your door? Yeah, I guess they want to hurt me. They want to hurt you? What's yeah. your name? Joseph. Joseph? Excuse me, please. Hi, Joseph. Might I be coming in to talk? Can we come in to talk? Perfect. What's going on tonight? Can you stay over here for me? Wilson's here. Wilson's here. Join your pocket. Wilson's here. You don't know Wilson's here? Okay. Wilson's here. Okay. Windows open. So it's just wind. story this morning. One man is dead following an officer-involved shooting. Fatal shooting of Joseph Biegert. Well, the officer shot Biegert at least nine times. The force was determined necessary given the fact Biegert was warned and continued to attack officers. Officers were cleared of wrongdoing late last month. We had officers that responded to an address here on Plymouth Lane tonight. Uh, they responded to a check the welfare type call for a male that was possibly suicidal. They murdered my son, and they created a narrative to sway public opinion, and that's exactly what they did here in Green Bay. The narrative that they put out about my son was my son was a suicidal man with a knife, and officers had shot him. It's just unfair. The, um... You never... You always worry that you're going to lose a child. I mean, I think anybody that's ever been a parent, you, you thought about it, right? Like, oh my God, I hope I never lose a child. 
but you don't think you're gonna lose a child the way I lost Joseph. My son suffered from depression and he was having an episode that night and they were not there to help him. They turned a situation into something that didn't need to be. They should have went there and just asked him if he was okay. They should have offered for him to go to the crisis center or allowed him to do what he was doing when they walked in that apartment. And that was nothing. Joseph led two officers into his apartment and he was very cooperative. He was compliant. Wait a minute, Perfect. What's going on tonight? He sat on the couch, pat Joseph down. Joseph got up, Joseph turned around, was allowing them to pat him down. Uh, according to Matthew Dunn, he took Joseph's two thumbs and pulled down on him behind his back. He felt like he, he did hurt Joseph. But in the audio, you can hear one of them say, don't do anything stupid. Hey, hey don't get stupid. Prior to that moment, Officer Brian Kruger was staging the scene. He was like kind of pushing the debris away, anything that was on the floor. Because in his own words, he was saying, I was anticipating a fight. Why are you anticipating a fight with somebody that's being cooperative? That in your own words said, appeared to just be sad. There was no, okay, calm down, Joe, no nothing. It was both of them in their own words, took him down to the ground and started hitting him in the face as hard as they could, pounding his face. You could hear my son asking them to stop. Crying for them to stop. They tried tasing him, they beat him with their baton, but allegedly my son was able to reach up on a counter and grab a knife out of a butcher block, a butcher block that was facing the wall. And allegedly stab an officer that never even seen a knife. Shoots Joseph three times and gets him down on the ground. That's when Matthew Dunn pulled his gun out and shot Joseph six times. when Joseph was already on the ground. That's murder. There was a trace of Matthew Dunn's DNA on the tip of the knife. There was a male too, but it was not Joseph's. Somehow, miraculously, they redid a DNA test. And this time Joseph's DNA was on that knife. They need Joseph's DNA on that knife. Because that's the reason why they killed Joseph. Now, through the depositions, through just having a really good legal team, I know now, for a fact, Joseph never got a knife. They needed to put that knife by Joseph. Brian Kruger and Matthew Dunn were aggressive with Joseph. Well, here, join your bucket. Here. You don't know who else is here? And I believe that when Joseph broke free and they took him down to the ground and they couldn't get control of the situation, they panicked. They killed him because they couldn't get him in control. Why? I'll never be able to answer that. Get your hands your back. I went to Madison to see representatives. Really, at the end of the day, my son shouldn't be dead. He shouldn't be dead. He should be here with me right now, with his family, with his loved ones. I want you to know that we have a problem here in the United States with our justice system, with our law enforcement. And people need to wake up and pay attention don't blow it off. Don't think that it won't happen to you. Don't look at it as it's not a problem. I want mandatory crisis intervention training for all officers. I feel like until we fix 
You can't fix everything, but you gotta start somewhere. I put up billboards for it. Drivers in downtown Green Bay will notice a new billboard off of Main Street. It was put up by a woman whose son died in an officer-involved shooting. People that suffer mental illness shouldn't have to be killed. It's, it's not a crime to be depressed. It's not. And so you shouldn't end up dead at the end of the day. These officers need to be trained. I've been on our local news channels. I put up poster boards on city buses. I had Joseph's face going all around the Green Bay, Brown County. I had him in De Pere. I had him in Alloway. I had him everywhere. I had him on buses. I try. I put the billboards up because I love him. I, I do the things I do because I love him. For change, we all have to look in the mirror and ask ourselves that important question. Are we racist? Be honest with yourself. But at the end of the day, you need to know that innocent lives are being taken every single day all across our nation. Families are left behind to suffer and we suffer because it changes us for the rest of our lives. We will never be the same. I have a, a bench in De Pere at a park called Voyager Park. And I had this bench put there and I had Joseph's picture put on the back. It faces the bay. And if you sit there and it's a beautiful day, you get to see a beautiful sunset. I wanted a place where I could go to and not have to think about the police, you know? I will never get the justice that I truly desire. And I haven't given up and I keep getting shot down by our justice system through the courts. Federal judge threw our case out and I have one more chance and that's to go to the Supreme Court and I'll take it because I made Joseph that promise. I didn't ask for this. I don't want this. I don't want to be sitting here right now. Ground County 911, what is the address of your emergency? Yeah, uh, pardon me. Uh, I don't know. There's, uh, there's a lot of people by my, by my door. There's people by your door? Yeah, I guess they want to hurt me. They want to hurt you? What's yeah. your name? Joseph. Joseph? 